Welcome to Diesel Diaries, where we talk all things trucking, help you navigate the industry one conversation at a time. I am your host, Lori McNaughton, uh, Director of Operations for our Specialized Division. Uh, today, perfect timing, James. James, how long have you been with ATS? Too long. 42 Too long. years. It 42 has been a long years. time. So. I, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I think I, I came can. here in May of 97 as a company driver, switched over to owner operator in 98. So that probably puts me around 27 years. That's a lot of years. That's a lot of years. I didn't know you started out on the company side. One year. He looks, One year. He looks great for 30, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he does. Mm -hmm. I do. Holy. Yeah, long time. What's your favorite part? of what you do. It's fun when we get out there and you can be with other drivers that you get along with. You know, Dave and I have been together. Bless my heart. That is really sweet. No, but seriously, Dave <laughs> and I, have been, we've been working for what, 20 years now together yeah. on special projects and so on. So that kind of makes it easy. And you primor primarily today are just hauling blades, right? Not a lot of the general freight anymore. A lot of wind. Yeah, a lot of wind, but unfortunately this year, you know, you can't manufacture blades, so it's uh, there has been some general freight involved. More than previous. Yeah, a lot more. How quickly did it take you to, like, move up in class and get to a point in which you could haul blades? Well, when I came to ATS, there was an actual waiting list to get on. So, you know, a long time ago, I came here knowing Harold. So yeah. a lot of changes over the years. So I, I honestly, I, I, I probably, I think we had, back then we had a haul three, class four, three, class three, three, class two, and then uh, go into class one with a written test. Okay. If I can remember it correctly. Yeah. yeah. That sounds about yeah, right. Class two and class one written test, right? Yeah. Yeah. Back then it was. Yeah. When I first started, they were still doing... Yeah. Uh, class two and class two, yeah. class then, one. And when then I, you had to have an interview and be accepted to be able to do it too. Yeah. I didn't have to have an interview and I didn't have to do one on class two. It was just class one back oh. then. But, you know, things have changed yeah. over the years. So Cool. Thank you for being here. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having us. Uh, Dave, we're on you, buddy. How long have you been with ATS? Coming up on 20. 20 years. Yep. And always a contractor? Uh, no, I started as a company driver. You did uh, too. About three months in, I went to the lease program and then did one lease, bought my first truck, paid that one off, bought my second truck, and I've been in that one for a long time. 12, 13 years now? Yeah, that's a long time. Something like that. Very pretty truck too. Thank you. Prior to one unfortunate yeah, well, you know. incident. You'll have those. It happens. Yeah. Any nicknames that have oh, surfaced? No. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, moving on. <laughs> no, 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 um, you're what, fine. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite part about driving? Other than going home? Well, I mean, present company mm -hmm. included, of course. This bromance is very cute. But honestly, it's, it's working with people that you know, first yeah. of all, you can trust, you can rely on, and actually helping new drivers out. Yeah. That's one of the benefits of being... Well, someone who's done it as long as we have, working together, and then you learn to work with other people. And we trained six or seven drivers last year alone. Yeah, in Blades. In Blades, doing yeah. mentoring. Right. Yeah, which I love, by the way, the mentor program. that, And it's only a couple, a few years old now. Two years, maybe. Maybe three this year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we started it two years ago. And I have actually, I've seen some of the feedback that both of you have provided when you're um, training new drivers. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome to see how seriously it is taken and how um, transparent you are with both, um, you know, the things the new guys are doing well and things that they need to work on. Right. Well, and I, part of that is the driver, the other, the new driver themselves. If they don't have the ability or the wanting or willingness to learn, they shouldn't even be doing it. Yeah. Plain and simple. It's totally not, agree. It's not a knock against anyone. It's just a fact. Yeah. Either you truly are in it for your own growth and development and you're taking it seriously. If you're just chasing a dollar and you're not, um, you know, at least a little bit fearful of the risk that you're right. taking by doing it, then. If you're not nervous every time you get behind a wheel, regardless of what you're hauling, 
then you're doing something wrong. Yeah. And it may not necessarily be your abilities or the, you know, the coworkers. It's every other vehicle on the road. Yeah. It just it's just a fact of life. That's a super great segue into what we're talking about today. But before we go there, I have a few things I need to share. So first one is um, national fuel average this week, and not to get blood boiling, it's gross everywhere. But three seventy two. Now, more importantly, hmm. average cost of a roller dog. <laughs> Take it easy now. <laughs> I'm talking about the kind you can buy for lunch at. I know. What oh, okay, you're... just making sure. Two fifty nine, two fifty nine, two sixty nine for one. Where's that at? That's national average. I don't visit those places, so. Do you ever um, take no the chance on a roller dog? Hot dogs. Oh, hot dogs. What? Roller dogs? Yeah, they're called roller dogs because yeah. they're on those they're on roller, roller things. Well, most places you can actually get two for, well, two for three four to four or, or whatever. Right? We don't eat so. those, though, do we? No. I do on occasion. <laughs> I don't think listen, I do. I, listen, I slum it once in a while, all right? <laughs> I've never seen you eat so, those, and I know I'm not eating them. So that is one thing I will not take a chance on. They're scary to me, but oddly what? enough, the roller bites. Let me guess. Different never, story. I, I'll take a chance on those. You got to try the blueberry pancake and sausage ones. I have not tried breakfast, but the yeah, chicken. Fantastic. They have like these, <laughs> and it is most certainly <laughs> not real chicken. But well. I mean, there might be chicken pieces, okay. leftovers, ground up, I don't know. However, they make like fake hot dogs, it's, you know, same concept, but with... Well, let's not get into that. Okay. You're, so, you're going to ruin it But for they're me. bread. <laughs> Took me 20 years to go over the last time somebody told me it was actually in there, so... <laughs> so I can't believe you eat that crap. Well, they have these buffalo ones, and they're, they're like a, it's like a hot dog, like the shape and mm-hmm. size of a hot dog. They're fantastic. It's risky for sure. The cheeseburger ones. I haven't had those either. I'm telling you, it's only been the chicken. No. It's like this buffalo chicken. You got a branch. You got to venture out a little bit. And then there's a regular chicken with like cheese in it. So I hit those up every once in a while. <laughs> what do you do when you're like desperate? You just need something to eat. You just uh, <clears throat> walk. You walk and that makes the hunger go away. I usually walk oh. to places, yeah, like restaurants and so on and so forth, yeah. Yeah. I don't have a problem with walking a mile or two miles or to go to a restaurant. Dave, let's not get carried away. Short Dave, distance on is the fine. Other, Dave, on the other hand, listen, 10 feet and he's yeah. out. I'm if, with you. If I don't have an Uber or something available, <laughs> you're carrying Dave me. Dave is just across doing. the street. No <laughs> way. Whoa, that's like six lanes there, pal. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> I don't like truck stop food at all. I just yeah. well, that's the bad part. Roller dogs, for example, any truck stop now, there's they're not truck stops anymore. They're travel centers. Yeah, that's where the problem. It's all is fast food. It's, it's all it garbage. is. It's gross. Well, I can't agree with it being gross. It's I think gross. a lot of it is delicious, Some and that's the problem. Like super bad for you, but uh, I well, cannot turn down something fried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. You have to work with her. her like, <laughs> He's just over there loving it. He's like, yes, keep going. The hole's about this deep right now. Please don't think less of me. I don't. I don't. We don't judge. Wait, yes. I judge him, but... You know, well, the other thing is, though. like, if I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Well, and there is very little time obviously. before, before if, I get angry. If you get into that position, a lot of these truck stops, they have coolers. They have, like, fresh fruit cut up, and they yeah. have cold sandwiches or something like that. Truck stop sushi? Is that a Gross. do or a don't? <laughs> oh, you just said that out loud. I just, did. Just so you're aware. That I not feel like, I mean, I'll, I'll look at it, and if the color seems like it's close, I'll probably give it a try. There is something seriously wrong. <laughs> okay, we're I have thought to have you a, said you weren't judging. We're going to have to have a this talk This feels after like this. judgment. Because <laughs> it, it, it is a little bit. Truck stop sushi. No. Well, if I'm getting something from the cooler, it's full of a bunch of crap anyway. Why would you go to a truck stop? Period. On the road? Like, why not go to a grocery store? I do go to grocery stores. When you're traveling, you don't want to go to a grocery store. Why not? It's cheaper. It's better food. I mean, 
toilet trailer to put your refrigerator she in. She doesn't so have doesn't a trailer. Bad. She's what got a car. About when she's, she's traveling got with her family. Those Teslas. Tesla. She's got a plug in. Tesla. No, she sir, goes. I do not. Okay. No, she's, not that there's anything wrong. She's with a God fearing American, by God. She burned <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> Remember that, pal. Just because the car smokes when you start it up, don't worry about it. I leave it run sometimes too. Walk away. Andy, oh. walk away. I just got more patriotic if that was possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What's up? If you put that red hat on, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't have one. Okay. I don't wear hats very often. Cover this up. Come on. Stop it. It is nice. See? It's very nice, Dave. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Wait for the back end and compliment. Three, <laughs> two. <laughs> All right. Average cost to park. What do you know about that? Well, it was $10. Then it went to 12 Two years ago, or last year, was 15 Now it's up anywhere from 17 to 20 Yeah. And I hear out west as much as 30 Every, and it's everywhere now. They have more reserved or paid parking than they do open spots. Which I was a little surprised, like some of the comments. So we had asked, um, you know, in our last episode, uh, people to share their favorite truck stops, why. And um, one of the things that came up multiple times was reserved parking and mm -hmm. not being so much of a fan of those truck stops. And it's every truck stop now. Literally. Why wouldn't you be a fan of being able to reserve a spot well for one if you're lucky enough to actually get a reserve spot every truck around you is running mm. that's annoying but it enough, really but... doesn't pertain to us because dave and i never really park at truck stops yeah. because we can't get into them right so as far as the cost i, I have no idea what the cost well, is well i now. when i came up out of galveston a few weeks ago it was 17 dollars and that's for like a full 24 hours? That's 24 hours, correct. It's crazy to me. And that's that's at a national chain. The the mom and pops, if you can find them, I've never seen one that has paid parking. So for general freight drivers? Yeah, I feel bad for them. You know, it's got to be hard for them. And you can't do like, you know, I think about, I don't know, parks and... Um, you know, even like recreation tags, like things that you can buy for a season. Right. You can't do like yeah. parking passes. Not, without a trailer, you can. If you're without? bobtail, yeah. If you buy, if you're bobtail, you find some place safe and secure to drop your trailer. You can go to a campground. Absolutely. Sure, yeah. but I mean, like truck stops buying a parking oh, a pass, pass for like a. I don't know if anybody right could here. afford it. Because they're it's, not going to give really you. It's really rough out there for yeah. the drivers right now. I mean, it's it's tough. We've been doing general freight for a month now, and it's just like all you're doing is paying truck payments in reserve. Yeah. And fuel. And, yeah. You're, if you're, that's about it. So if that's what you're doing year in, year out, it's, yeah, it's, it's got to be hard for them. I feel for them. Yeah, really for sure. Do. It's got to be hard. Plus, now they have to pay for parking if they choose to, uh, you know. Unless they stop before noon. Noon, yeah. Because normally much. by 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the truck stops are so over full, you can't even get you in. You can't get in, so that's good if you want to pay the money, but a lot of them can't afford the money. I could see that with, like, maybe van freight because they're more 24-7 right. for pickups and deliveries. But why, like, any open deck? They said there's more. That's an early day. And a lot of them will set for two or three days waiting on a single load, a, a very specific load. Yeah, trying to make up. Because they'll only work with certain customers or whatever. Yeah, I think the cost of just being in the business has increased significantly since COVID. Well, and if you look like, at... And not everything else went up with no, that. And if you look at all the regulations they keep piling on, everything that you did 20 years ago now can be held against you. And it's... You know, with the clearinghouse thing that's, and they're talking about, you know, revoking licenses for something that's on the clearinghouse from 10 years ago. All right. How about we move on a little bit? Um, I had asked you guys if you would join me today to kind of talk about sharing the road. Um, and it's more about educating the general public and passenger vehicles. Um like best practices in sharing the road with big rigs? Well, first of all is awareness. Plain and simple. You got to be aware you're not the only one on the road. Yeah. Too many people get in their own little bubble. 
when they're for ready. sure. And I got to be here by this time, right? Yeah. And it's not just you know they're. Are you talking from a car perspective? Yeah. 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 You are. Yeah. They should make the laws as strict for somebody driving a car on their cell phone as they do for trucks. I do have a problem with people on cell phones. If, we do too. Yeah. yeah. That, it's terrifying. Well, when you it can be, yeah, for sure. Merging yeah. in this country is horrible. Agree. Unbelievable. You could have What's a that? police officer just sit at the bottom of a ramp and just write tickets all day. Improper yeah. merging. I yeah. think they really feel and think that they have the right of way to come out onto the highway. Sure they do. So we, well, I kind of think that too. Or I at least I, I, it's So why don't they have public question. announcements out there or well, they, put it in you, commercials or well, They do or have, but the, the problem is they have those electronic signs all over the country now. Specifically targeting merging. And they just come out and they don't look over their there's shoulder. No look. It's like their neck is broken. Mm-hmm. It's awful. They just with or in. without a yield sign. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah it's horrible. It's, yeah. it's all about them. So that was one of the examples that I was going to share just to kind of get it going. Was um, um, merging from uh, if there is a semi trying to merge coming down a mm-hmm. ramp. You know, I was always taught, and I think it was just kind of reinforced coming here that I obviously learned a lot mm. from drivers. But if I'm in the right lane and you're trying to merge and I'm able, I should move over and allow you in. Right. If the roles are reversed, you would do the same for me. If you're able, you would allow me in. Um, at which point, if you're changing lanes to allow me in, I wouldn't speed up to get ahead of you. Right. I would maintain a speed, give you safe space to move back over. Right. And I feel like that's something that people do not know. Well, I don't even know if they're taught that anymore. I don't know either. I can't, I don't know that I was ever taught that in like driver's ed. Oh, we were. I think that was more like. Well, and, and if you know. look at the different generations that are driving today, like the newest generation, 15, 16, 17 years old. Mm-hmm. The only thing they're thinking about is where they're they're going to end up with Boy their friends. friends, right? Yeah. Where but we're when going. we wrote the written exam, like in my day, there was like six what or are you, seven. Eighty in my day, <laughs> there was like six or seven questions pertaining to motorcycles. There still is. Yeah, it, but is there any questions like pertaining to tractor yeah, trailers? Well, they had them for motorcycles, bicycles, farm tractors, anything like that. They still have them, as far as I know. So I have a daughter who just got her license. Well, uh, she's 17. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't remember anything. There was some farming questions in there, but I don't really remember anything. It was about more about trackers. the triangle sign. That's all it yeah, was. Slow yeah, slow motion. Yeah, slow motion. Um, I do not recall anything with combination vehicles. I don't remember I don't know if there anything is. either. Like I said, I don't know if there is any more or not, but there used to be. There should be more. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. I well, saw a crazy accident. And I am like fearful of this. This is like when I am on the road, this is one of my biggest fears. Anytime I'm changing lanes, especially if you have um, three or more. Mm-hmm. So there was a tractor trailer in number three lane. And a Jeep Wrangler in the number one lane. And the tractor trailer went to merge to the center lane. Simultaneously, the Mm. Wrangler did the same thing uh, without signaling, which doesn't help. But you see they're moving. And um, in my mind, if I see they're moving, I'm not trusting just because their blinker's not on. They're not going to cross that line. Anyway, um, simultaneously, they merged, and um, the tractor trailer must have jerked the wheeler, or the wheel, (laughs) the wheeler, must have jerked the wheel, ended up um, bouncing into... The um, Jeep? Or the barrier? No, the barrier, and the Wrangler ended up rolling. Like... Well, they're, again, own little bubble. Somebody didn't look. Yeah. That's all it is. And that's the sad part, because that happens... You can you can walk too out. often. Well, you just walk over to the entrance ramp over here by the office. Yeah, I'll guarantee you see it twenty times in ten minutes. Yeah, guaranteed. People just their own little bubble, their own little world. So when I think about like tips for sharing the road, 
And I guess it doesn't matter if it's just sharing it with another passenger vehicle or you guys. Like, I am super good, and this wasn't always the case. I was... You've been made aware. Yes, I've been made aware. Yeah, that's the problem. That's a really good way to put it. Yeah. Beautiful words. Uh, Nobody's educated anymore, and unfortunately... um, they don't have the There's no to programs teach to do it. There's right. no there's nothing. It's just You either you learn from your own mistakes Absolutely. or as you get if older you're luck- and you're willing to learn from other people's well, mistakes. Well, and if you're lucky enough you have somebody that's there going, "Hey, what do you pay attention?" And yeah. You, you got to keep your head in and the And you have here. to care. You want to care. And unfortunately, sure. uh, today's generation a lot of them don't. No. Do you think it's generational? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It used to be little old women and men with hats. Now it's <laughs> teenage girls. Is there more forgiveness for little old ladies and men in hats? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's grandma, right? Mm-hmm. You got to be nice. Don't beat the horn. You don't yeah. want to make her cry. Right. Right. Dave's made a lot of people cry. You have, haven't That's you? That's a true story. I could totally <laughs> see that. <laughs> but seriously, you know, it's, it is with. The teenagers, you get frustrated. It's like, get off the phone. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you can see them on the phone texting or or, or using the phone. And And they think they're sneaky. Well, they're they're completely oblivious to what's around them. You can't see the phone, but you're literally looking straight down. Or it's, you know, 10 o'clock at night, and the only light you see is the phone. (laughs) Yeah. Sitting in their lap while they're texting. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's not obvious. Yeah. But. And it's something so simple. Well, no. if you if you think about it, if you go back two generations, you don't even have to go back to the little old lady. Go back to your your grandparents. You don't have to go back to your great grand. You go back to your grandparents. If you were in a vehicle with your grandparents, I was terrified. Absolutely, mm-hmm. I cried. <laughs> he does that. <laughs> Sensitive type. <laughs> we're working on that. We're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I hear that a lot, actually. <laughs> But you had somebody there basically to smack you upside the head and go, hey, you driving? Or what are you doing? Yeah. You don't have that anymore. Of course, now if you did you, that, you you'd end up in jail for six months. Old men. You can't. You know, they barely can see over the steering wheel. And then you guys got the old men with the hats on. They can't even see out the window. But you've been well, raised James, to Just because they're getting their glasses the cleaned by their passenger. With the younger generation, you just want to get out of the truck and choke them. Yeah. And it's like, what are you thinking? Whoa, yeah. whoa. It's okay. just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Getting slightly aggressive there, well, partner. Well, it's true. You it take, is true. You take get a deep more breath. Take angrier a deep breath. at the younger generation than you do Oh, absolutely. Wow. Because we're going to be at that age. Yeah. We know. Yeah. You're, you're, <laughs> so you're asking for forgiveness early. Like, yeah, maybe so. He's going to be the guy on the front maybe porch. So. Get off my grass. Are you? No. So that's totally Here my he dad. does it. I do not. Whatever. <laughs> so um, one thing I have learned over time, um, something I practice today is when I am changing lanes, like if I'm going to pass, I never sit on the side of you. I'm not going to wait to see if you blow a mm. tire. Um, I will get around, but I also wait until I can see tires hitting the pavement before I signal, and then I'll move back over. Well, that means you're using your mirror. That's yeah. standard. It should be standard. I have a little positions. light thingy on my side mirror. Mm-hmm. It tells me when I'm past. Well, and, and okay. standard practice is until you can see the full cab, like for oh. us. If you can see the full cab in your mirror. Oh, so I'm probably not giving you enough time yet. Well, you're... If you can see their tires rolling. Yeah. If you're more Well, taller, I can't see your whole cab. Right. If you were taller, if your vehicle was taller, you'd be able to see their whole cab. Oh, so for you, you right. need to see all of. And a lot of a lot of mistakes are made if when people do. you can see their mirrors, return. they can see you. Right. That's pretty much how it goes. Yeah. They just cut back in. Trucks are just, trucks do it too, so. So the idea of accident mitigation, great idea. Is theory. it, James? In theory, in theory, anything that can help prevent an accident is James is a nice James, idea. James, we're asking for like your you direct opinion on this accident mitigation. I'm system. trying to avoid it or make sure he says yes, and you are. I'm poking the bear. Like, yeah. <laughs> what it, look, that's what I, like, I it's do. It's a good thought. I am here for comic it's relief. It's a good thought. Like to want to help prevent bad things from happening is a good thought. As long as it works. Just stop looking at me like that. <laughs> as long as it works correctly. 
Yes. Okay, so thank you. That's where I was getting. And well, why didn't we just say that? Because you were too busy poking the bear. Damn it, Trying James. to start a why, fight. Why am I the bear? I'm not a bear. Everybody thinks I, I am. I don't know. I it's my poker face. I speak the truth. It's this, buddy. Which you some, have like a voice of truth. It's like great radio voice. He does have a great radio voice. Yeah. Howard Stern told me that once. Yeah. Did he? I believe it. If, yeah. if you say he did, I yeah. believe it. What was I saying? Accident oh. mitigation. Mm -hmm. the bear. Oh, we're poking the bear. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the accident mitigation yeah, system, yeah, yeah, James. Yeah. Please so, give everybody your honest opinion now. <laughs> you don't want to know. Yes, you do. Yeah, yes, we do. Like, yes, you do. Trust me, you want to hear this. Well, I feel like it's probably fairly accurate, and our opinions probably well, align. All I was trying to say is that I don't trust my mitigation. Like it's there. Are we talking about these weird noises that come from our truck speakers? There's, do you, well, does and my my car you? too. Like even the mirror to let me know something's on the side. My following distance, I've lane had, departure. I had two all strokes just getting here. <laughs> That's not funny. Shame Listen, on us. We both laugh. When he could, could <laughs> they have it any louder? Because it's funny. I know. Listen, could they when he makes when, it, like, when he hard. makes when he makes a right turn. His accident mitigation system goes um, off because of the trailer. Dave and I are talking on the phone. Because it sees it in the mirror? And he can hear it over the phone. Oh, really? Do oh, you get scared, horrible. too? Do you stroke out? At first, I was like, James, are you okay? Are you it's going horrible. off the road right now? It, Talk to me. They couldn't, if they made it any louder, oh, my. It sounds God. like you're yeah. going over 10 sets it's of ridiculous. rumble strips at one time. You know how bad it is? I got to steer. <laughs> I'll tell you how bad <laughs> it is. It's not a joke. How long do we have? <laughs> All the time in the world. I'm rolling down the highway with a load coffee. that's 250 You're feet long, and my steerman's telling me to stop, 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 and I can't hear him saying stop, 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 because the thing is so loud because I'm it's riding on the fog line because I need to make the turn wide. It is a complete and utter disaster. It needs to be and fixed. And they will not turn it down. They, can't, they can adjust the volume, and they won't, I or they the volume can. can't be adjusted. Me? Well, anybody who knows Pete? the answer. I've asked. Oh, and I what's the answer? Suck it up, buttercup. Is that really what they said? Pretty much. That well, was really... that's, that's being very polite. Yeah, those are nice words. Yeah. <laughs> buttercup is. I mean, that's sweet. Right? It's like, it See what is I did there? so Bum -bum. loud. It is so loud. How long is your blooper reel going to be this time, do you think? <laughs> it's loud in my vehicle. It's startling. And you're like... It's startling? Yeah. I got high blood pressure now because of it, I think. That's fair to say, Dave. I have to. I have to keep a close eye on him. I'm really thirsty, but I'm also afraid to take a drink. Cause <laughs> why? <laughs> but why, Lori? Let's why? do it together. Okay, yours is probably empty. You're <laughs> faking. No, his isn't empty. Mm. He's got more for you up there. That's right, he does. Thank you so much, by the way. That was super nice of you. <sighs> so it anyway. needs to be changed. Y they need it's to make another, it it's it another has to something be that can be better, right? I, I agree with you. It's but who has the power to change it? Let's get real. It's Let's not get real. Me. I know it's not you. It's the manufacturer. But we both know who, who this, has the power. These systems aren't new, by the way. Well, and they ain't going anywhere. You like you can't even buy vehicles without it anymore. Mine's at 278,000 decimals. I mean, the. I've gone, is, through, I've gone I'm through. I've gone through. I've gone through windshields. Super loud. That's not a joke. What? It is crazy. What'd you say about windshields? It'll, it'll crack the windshield. It's so no. loud. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those high pitched things. The and vibration like, in there. Mine oh goes if off. If it's cold, it's really quick. On average, <laughs> probably fifteen hundred times a day. It's like it must think that I'm driving through the trees. It's not a joke. That's probably <laughs> you're in the dualies. That's probably an accurate number. Every time I talk to him on the phone, I go. Get Do you know how many garbage. collision alerts I get on my truck? I collision don't. alert, collision alert, and you're looking and you're looking. And there's what the f are you talking about? Yeah. Collision. There's nothing around Shadow. me. I go to make a right hand turn. It thinks my trailer's a car. <laughs> and it will him, scream. I am so sorry. This it will scream rude. at me the whole time. Get off the shoulder, James. And if you got a 53 you know, foot trailer, that's a lot a, of screaming. We ought to put a voice in there. We ought to put a voice in there. Don't worry about it, James. It's just your trailer. Just my trailer. Just your trailer. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're good. You're close to the fog line, but you're good, buddy. Keep it moving. I call Dave up four times a day and beg Just him to, to take me to my room. <laughs> it's true. It's terrible. I, I apologize for the laughter, but sometimes I can't help it. It goes off. You think you're missing something. 
you look to the right, you look to the left, you realize, no, false alarm. It's like the, the little boy who cried wolf. Yeah. It, it happens so many times. Well, and, and, and then you bring your heart rate back down just for a tap and all over Well, again. no, yeah. then somebody cuts you off and it slams on the brakes. It takes the concentration. But no brake lights come on on the truck away. or trailer. So it's if what? somebody's behind you, if might get a little I kiss. I can't even use my right turn signal anymore because as soon as I put it on, if there's a car there and I want to let the car know behind that I'd like to get over, I can't because it will scream constantly. Like, like there's no break in it? <laughs> Nothing. No. Nothing. It's bad. I'm not making this Is up. Is that right? Like no, that, that hell feels it's not like... right. I'm going to therapy <laughs> over it. Yeah, yeah, and he's asking me to foot the bill. <laughs> Figure that out. I, like, I, I mean... I know you think it's not right, accident it's all, mitigation, it's but I'm just wondering, like, is yours broken? <laughs> oh, the system's broken. <laughs> like, is it really supposed to do it so it's nonstop? Because mine yes. does like a... Yours is intermittent. Yeah. But if if you're trying to move to the right lane and there's a car right there, yours constantly goes off until the car's yeah, out of Yeah, so you can't let the car purview. behind you know that, hey, I'd really like to get over and get off at this exit. You can, or you listen to that god-awful noise the whole time it's horrible Lori. it's horrible this is <laughs> this okay. laughter is through pain by the way it's yeah I, well and i don't it like it's not funny i either. cry myself to sleep at night <laughs> i had to take him to the store to buy more tissues do you it have like a bedtime no i got a good soothing app <laughs> that like <laughs> plays soothing sounds for you White noise. to help you fall asleep. Whale songs. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I I apologize. I wake up to the screaming of the sounds like every hour. It's it's yeah. It's crazy. That is referred to as PTSD, my friend. No, that is no. It's just. <laughs> Beep. Did that come? Did that come through? By the way, you're good. Don't even worry about it. They'll just move the camera shot. Don't worry about it, buddy. They'll just blur your... <laughs> and, you th- and you think I'm, like, s- trying to state a hyperbole, extreme exaggeration, but I'm not. He's, He's absolutely it. not. It's horrible. I believe you. I I've, do. And I, I truly do not mean to laugh. I think it's... I don't know if it's the word. We took his truck to dinner one night. But... We were somewhere, and we took his truck to dinner. And it went off, and I almost jumped into his lap. That's how loud it was. That's not a joke. It scared me half to death. So um, to not add to the stress of this accident mitigation. Let it go. How you were the one that like pushed him over the edge. Wait a minute. You're the one sitting over there laughing at his pain. I don't have it. My truck is too old. Yeah. See, I was a smart one. So you go down. You should stop you hitting you... things so the truck lasts longer. <laughs> wow. That... Shots fired. Wow. Shots have been fired. <laughs> Get your beeper nice. button ready, pal, because <laughs> it's game on. Dave, I think this interview's over. <laughs> oh, no, it's just getting it's just getting started, partner. And we're going to have video evidence of it. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, one, one deer. One deer commits suicide in the front of my truck. Well, if I you know. would have stayed put like I told you to that night. I, we, listen, been, we were driving together, and Dorothy over here decides <laughs> to take off at 9 o'clock at night. And try I had to, to find Toto. Two, two, more, <laughs> two more hours down the road, <laughs> and he hits a deer. The deer hit me. Let's get it straight. We were in a perfectly good spot to park <laughs> for the night, but oh, oh no. <laughs> listen, I can't just sit around. You know that. Wow. So I was kind of thinking, I, I heard one nickname and I tweaked it slightly. I felt like. This ought to be good. <laughs> Here we go, kids. <laughs> Strap in. Put your kids to bed so early. Bambi killer. The Bambi assassin. Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll take yeah. that. Yeah, Bambi assassin. I'll take did a lot of damage. $20,000. I know. And that was the beautiful bumper you had. Yeah. Past tense. The one that's on there is now. It's pretty nice. nice. Yeah. It's the new one on. I'm surprised we're not putting more on our trucks. Company trucks, you know. You would think Protect those front ends. One hit can really cause a lot of Well, these of trucks, pain. it would the front end would be gone. It's Radiator pretty, would yeah. be gone. Yeah, it doesn't take much, for no. sure. No. I know there are fleets out there that are actually putting them on. 
every truck. Well, it depends on where they run, too. Plus, I think they are, they're getting some sort of an insurance well, uh, reduction. Incentives, sure. probably. Yeah. That's possible. Anyway, we're getting off topic. We have done nothing but like this entire day, which is fine. It's we're been just having fun. a conversation. Yes, yeah. I love Never it. Never mind the microphones and the, yeah. you know the the gentleman over yeah. here trying to hold in his laughter. I don't know why Nick's not saying anything. He's very quiet. He's, he's biting his tongue because mm-hmm. he wants to laugh at you just as hard as we this are. But he's being professional. Going to get scrapped. You Way know? better than I did. No, it's going to be one giant blooper reel. I don't think it all gets scrapped. He's already Where does approved it. Go? it. Who listens to it? <laughs> Just the five of us? <laughs> well, there's one more person in the office. I share it with my family. She's like, this is why, kids. And by my family, I mean my school. husband. No, but you so want to drive a truck? A Absolutely question. not. To this? Um, I didn't even know we had one. Yeah, it, well, it gets, po- well, it's still very it new. It gets posted? Yeah. Where? Lots of different places all over the interwebs. Stop. It'll never be erased. It's Elon Musk. That's fantastic. <laughs> It's time for the dad jokes to come out. Oh my gosh, I have so many good ones too. But first... Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Because! <laughs> there it is. That's so dumb. I, I really have to You would do great at my dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> I aim to entertain. Yeah. Well done, sir. How about you, James? You got any good dad jokes? No. I've said enough. <laughs> We're just getting started. Is it getting warm in here? Is it it's, just me? It's getting warm. Yeah. Did they turn the air conditioner on? Uh, probably. Okay. So, seriously, back to back, back on topic. One tip, something. We've For given what? you a lot today. Well, you have. For sharing the road? Yeah, sharing the road. Like, what's a good practice? For passenger vehicles, what would you like to see them do? Is it more about backing off so you can see them in your mirror? Is it, you know, signal your attention? In all honesty, it's just follow the just rules go. of the road. Well, people don't all. Know. Well, that's the best advice anybody could have, honestly, if you think about it. But it's too vague. Yeah, but that's we're wasting problem. our breath. We're, really, it's never going to change. You don't think so? No. What if this reaches one person and it changes the way they drive on the road? Is that a win or not? Mm. Just sure. like a truck driver, constantly sure. look around. Sure. Watch your mirrors. Watch your surroundings. Always. You remember, you're not the only one on the road. Yeah. That's the best advice anybody could ever give, honestly. And then stay alert, stay and alive. If you, you want to public transportation. <laughs> That's my tip of the day. <laughs> I'm just going to put my head down now. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I think it's a super idea. I think it's a great idea. It's I think bad. they should enforce it's public transportation. Or they could walk to work. Either way. Oh, yeah. Walking is good for you. Dave, walking is good for you. <laughs> That's a myth. No, it's it's bad for your That's shins. That's a hard no. It's yeah. a bad for your shins. Shin splints. What it's about, bad for your knees. What about it's bad for folks your with plantar fasciitis? What about people with a bad back? Or a bad hip? With a nice hey, back. that's bought and paid for. <laughs> And I'm about to add to it shortly, so (laughs) you take your shots if you want, partner. I'm happy. (laughs) Is Santa Claus unhappy? Is Santa Claus grumpy? Actually, I feel like he's always laughing. Do you know why? Because he's fat and happy. (laughs) Remember that, partner. Actually, notice that every time he laughs, he grabs his belly. That's because he doesn't want it to bounce. Dave does the same thing. It hurts. (laughs) Puts too much strain on his upper back. Mine does, too. I, I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm okay with it. Oh, sure. I told you, high maintenance, but worth it. <laughs> yes, you are, Dave. Thank you. Moving on. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, uh, I think it's great. I've been having a really good time. This has been most enjoyable for me. Us, too. I know that you guys aren't getting into truck stops, and James, obviously, you don't even really care for them. Um, you're taking a walk, but, um, <laughs> uh, best truck stop and why? Recently, the newest one, Quick Trip. Quick Trip. What quick Trip, Quick, quick trip? Star. They're yeah. clean. Are they like the same thing? Owned by Just, the same company, I believe. Are they? Yeah. They got delicious coffee. Fantastic coffee. They're clean. Yep. They Friend, got, they friendly help, people. Healthy good food. food. Healthy they food. do have yeah. good food, actually. Very, yes. Very good food. They got prep meals. What do you eat there? Nothing. 
<laughs> I so can't I, take you anywhere. I, I swear do to God. enjoy the trip that is quick as well. It is. It's becoming one of the best truck stops out there. There are independent truck stops out there that are yeah. very good. Water, that are better than the chains. Yeah, Watertown's yeah. Town a good one in South Dakota. Yeah, um, Stone Truck Stop. In Stone South Dakota. Truck Stop Watertown. is very good, and uh, showers are good. The worst ones are the uh, the ones that have been around the longest, like the uh, Loves, the Flying J slash Pilot. They're terrible now. Yeah. Just awful. And for the most part, like feedback we got from viewers was kind of the same thing, your mom and pop shops. There was mm-hmm. some quick trip and what is it, quick circle? Or quick, quick star. Yeah. Quick star. Yep. Yeah. It was a shape. I was close. Ir- Irving Oil in Canada is a good one. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Husky mm-hmm. truck stops in Canada as well. Husky. The same thing. Yeah. But they're, they're becoming. But the bad, the, the, the worst time. thing is that they've all gotten rid of actual restaurants. It's all yeah, fast food. The get food in, get choices out. out here is awful, yeah. and we're eating bad, and it shows, and we're unhealthy, and it's just, it's rampant. And, and then, no. you know, your fellow drivers want to make fun of you because, you mm-hmm. know, round is a shape. You're the Mr. target of round is a shape. bulliers. Dave, that was 10 minutes ago. You need to I can't let it loose. go. My God. Have you not figured it out yet? We worked in South Dakota for three months Here we together. go. Here it is. We were at a hotel every night. And would you walk time. across the street to the restaurant? Welcome to Uncle James Story no. Time. <laughs> what was the restaurant across the street? Actually, it was, it was a, a good restaurant. Good steakhouse. Dave's house. restaurant. It was a steakhouse? Yes. And he wouldn't With, walk to the steakhouse? No, no, he liked Uber Eats and what's that other one? Okay, listen, I think I think your medication's wearing off because your memory's fading fast. <laughs> you did a lot of Uber Eats, mister. I didn't do any Uber Eats. Well, whatever it's called. what The app that brings food to you. DoorDash? Bingo. <laughs> I did no DoorDash. Zero. <laughs> Did the places just deliver? No. Well, who was that person that kept walking in? <laughs> oh, God. Ask that's Jenny. another episode. That's another episode. That's another episode. <laughs> I thought it was Listen, it's called person. cosplay, all right? <laughs> it's the hottest thing right now. They should have showed up a lot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, maybe you should ask your steerman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. My steerman. <laughs> Which one? Exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Wow. This is going yeah. bad real fast. Actually, I can't say how much I... <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> I'm happy. We're completely off the rails. <sighs> it was worth it. Yeah, absolutely. What's your favorite food? Italian. Restaurant. Italian? Italian. Hmm. Yeah. Is that why you walk so much? Isn't most Italian food like loaded with carbs? What am I, a nutritionist? I have. I don't know. It's one hundred percent carbs. What he likes. It's delicious. It is delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, What's I do your walk a lot. Dish? I don't know. Spaghetti and meat sauce. Really? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah. How original. I know. It's it's not, it's. <laughs> I like steak too. Me too. Yeah. I'm more of a white sauce girl. I like like the Alfredo's. And that's not Italian, by the way. Just, yeah. I'm just putting that out okay. there. It's really not. Fun fact of the day. Thanks Alfredo sauce is not Italian. What is it, Dave? Hmm? What is it? It's just something somebody made up. <laughs> Literally, look it up. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Look it up. Okay. <laughs> if you make, if you make Alfredo sauce for an Italian, a real Italian, true Italian, yeah. they'll laugh at you. Is Olive Garden considered true Italian? How no. dare you? What about bucas? Isn't that buca? Bucas. It's like a family style Italian restaurant. Maybe it's not Is that a chain. Style? No, it's um, in the cities. I don't know if it would be considered Minneapolis, but Never where's the food it. district? Is it Maple Grove? The only real food district is What's in your New York City. Food? Thank you. I probably have to go Mexican. Jesus. Nick, what's your favorite food? Uh, pizza. <laughs> That's... Yes, I'm looking at you. I like Thai food. Oh. Thai, Thai food. That's a good one. Very nice. Dave? All of it. 
<laughs> simple. I'm a simple person. Are you a person that eats dessert after your meal? I usually don't have room for dessert, but I want to. I'll just eat it first. Yeah. You if don't? anything, I'll get like a, Do you? a couple bites, but not every night, no. Not every and night. Not after meals. I usually am too full. Eat it first. I don't have to ask him. Do you I know. keep room? Like you make sure you have enough room for dessert? Or that's never an issue? You just finish your plate? We pretty much, room. Dave and I pretty much has the same eating patterns. We only like eat once a day, which probably mm. isn't healthy yeah, all that much. Yeah, I don't much. think that is. But we have room for dessert afterwards. <laughs> true story. That so is a true the, story. That's the ticket. I don't think it could be any... Better put, sir. Eat once a day. Well, they, and have room for dessert. What's your coffee. favorite dessert? Wow, that's not. Exactly I know. I hate when I have to pick just one thing. But Nick's in agreement. He's like, there isn't just one thing. No, there really isn't. Like, I love cheesecake. Who doesn't? Delicious. Unless you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> She feels left out. You targeted her with that one, sir. <laughs> you are? Me too. It's a bucket of suck. But he eats it anyway. A bucket of suck. It's a good thing he's alone in his truck. It's horrible. I'm yeah. so sorry. Do you take the pills? I just try to avoid dairy if I can. Yeah, me too. It's a good idea. Do it's not easy being us. pills have to be prescribed? No. No. They're yes. over the counter. They're over the counter. Lactate. Have but you I, tried them? I think I might have. Lactate pills is all I don't. Have. I don't know. I can't remember if they worked or not. Mm. Yeah, I think it depends on the severity. So then what? What are you having for dessert? Other things Carrot besides cake. <laughs> cheesecake. <laughs> I can't even eat ice cream I anymore. I was just going to say, what the no hell? cheesecake or ice cream. Carrot cake. And I love cheesecake and I love ice cream. Mm-hmm. Cheesecake. That's your fallback. Anyway. When you indulged in ice cream, was it in a bowl or like in a cone over a cake or pie? How yes. did you like to eat that ice cream? Yes, is the correct <laughs> answer. Why is this a discussion? Yes. Like Just all of the else, above. I hmm? No, I like a okay. I think I like a cone. Don't I like a cone? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, a cone. I prefer soft ice cream, so it doesn't matter to me. Well, you can put those in. Absolutely. Hello. Yeah, that. <laughs> Back to it's, yes. It's so versatile. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen him eat ice cream. Really? Never. Mm. Not very often. Yeah. Have you ever had Cold Stone? Yes. Oh, yes. It's pretty delicious. That's pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, they have Cold Stone in Texas. Do they? I mm -hmm. try to get them to go to Cold Stone, but no, that involves walking, so that's how. Mm. Come on, I just But there's it. like, you get a reward at the end of the walk, you know? I won't. And you walk the reward off. What's the sense in that? <laughs> when I go to sleep, I want to be fat and full. <laughs> no, I just don't care for ice cream that much anymore. I like sweets, but I can't like I can't do much. Like a cone for me is a lot. Are you the type that likes a snack during the night after your meal? Um, there was a time where, yes, that was the case, and it got really bad. Like, I'm ashamed of myself. I was so bad. What's but there to be ashamed of? In my defense. Not like you sat down and ate a whole bag of M&Ms, was it? Is it is the fault of my children. I got to hear this explanation. So kids love snacks and treats, yes. right? So sometimes, you know, they overindulge and... You know, they'll finish all the snacks and treats off in a day, whatever. So kind of have to ration them so they don't have too much sugar or whatever. And they're eating their meals and getting their fruits and veggies and, you know, all that good parenting stuff. So um, it got to a point in which we had to hide the snacks and treats. Um, but they would just find them. So then... They're like little dogs. They sniff them out. Yeah. So then... We changed the hiding spot 
And everybody but mom forgot where they were. <laughs> to mom's nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How can okay, we can we can end that we can end that segment right. there because yeah, so, we already know where this is going to wind up. Yeah, I'd have to wake up in the middle of the night and have like a fudge cake or something. <laughs> God bless you. That's terrible. Oh man, that's absolutely funny. terrible. No, it's not. So now I moved them to my closet. I'd actually have to get out You're of like, bed. That's way over, over there. there. Yeah. Oh, I'm nope. good. Yep. Yeah, and it's worked. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> if you say so. Mm-hmm. Hit that. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. So, mm-hmm. on that note, I'm going to wrap it up here. Next episode, um, we want to know about favorite ways to spend the summer. and Working, um, apparently. Summer. Good summer recipes. Is this pasta salad? No. Is it like... Is it like... Um, Pasta salad. Yeah, what's in it? <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about. Oh, my God. Recipes. Okay, do me this favor. Yes. Goulash. I love goulash. I do. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's, let's start this segment over. Not hot, James. Something well, not hot. Well, it can be hot. It's fine, okay, but... Okay, you're not going to change the rules midstream. The rules are in place for a reason. That's true. And if I'm the one being the umpire... But I thought that rules were meant to be broken. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. We'll cut that part out. (laughs) (laughs) We're just going with it. We're winging it at this point. We're talking about food that is cool in the summertime that's good to eat. Okay. Respectfully. You can have time to think about this. It doesn't. Summertime recipes. This is for the next episode. So we, we don't need the answer right now. Oh, it's for the next yeah. episode. Okay, no. um, recipes and like How often do you do this? Like favorite months? way to spend the summer. Um, once working. a month. Really? Yeah. Are it's, you going to come back? Do you think you guys would come back? Oh, yeah. If I invited you to, would you come hang out again? As long as we get to choose the... Uh... <laughs> hey. Dave says hell yeah and James' face we, is like hell no. We can, <laughs> we can choose the topics. Ooh. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay. Is somebody trying to get in? Mm-hmm. Dave's not here, man. The time's up is what they're saying. It's the police. You guys, I had a really good time. We did, too. Seriously. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. And none of this is usable, so we'll have two more guests in in a minute. And thanks for bringing coffee and donuts. I mean, that was super nice. Yeah. Very, very That's what nice. happens. Oh, thanks for inviting us. We had a good time. Oh. Huh. Oh. There you go. You can hold on to that so you know where to find the us. The enthusiasm is yeah, I know. boundless with you, James. It really is. So is this going to be like on Sirius Satellite Radio? Well, I don't think we're there yet. Wow. But um, Okay. If it is, you're the first call for the first DJ, though. Mm-hmm. You probably got a few jobs lined up after this. Anything would be better than this. Ooh, ouch. It's I was going to say, I... It got cool really quick in this mm-hmm. room. Ice. Kind of like, right? Freezer. All right. All right. Quick pro quo. Do you like your job? <laughs> <laughs> Are the cameras still rolling? <laughs> we'll go ahead uh, and, uh, yeah. We're going to cut the microphone before that's answered. that's it for today, folks. <laughs> We'd like to thank our sponsor for the day. Starbucks. Yeah. Thank you, Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until next time, thanks for joining. Thanks thank for having us. We